It's confrontable. That's what it is. Oh, and big and indeed. Dreamed about red green again last night. Now, it wasn't a sexy dream, which is a shame because, you know, let's be honest, it's red green. Yes, you know, his voice, his voice is just so powerful. He could, well, he could pin me to the ground with his voice and he would say to me, he would say, and now I'm going to do wonderful things to you using the handyman's secret weapon, duct tape. And I would let him. And oh, yes, indeed, he feed the needy, my friends. I would keep my stick on the ice. The duct tape bit sounded a little creepier than I meant it to be. Used to be really good at skiing, and then I had to stop. It's kind of what happens when you get to the bottom of the hill now, isn't it? Ah, yes, the Super Mario Brothers trapped in the perilous pit. A long, long time ago, sometime last Monday, two apprentice plumbers from Brooklyn, New York, were hard at work. Their names were Mario and Luigi, and everyone called them the Mario Brothers. On this particular day, the brothers were trying to clean a clogged sewer right underneath a gypsy fortune teller's shop. Perhaps... Some magic leaked down from the shop. Or maybe the Mario brothers turned the wrong pipe. Whatever happened, the Mario brothers suddenly found themselves being washed away through a drain pipe and into the warp zone. Oh yes, and there is the gypsy's hair. After falling through time and space, they eventually ended up in the magic land of Princess Toadstool's mushroom people. Isn't that lovely? Since they couldn't find a bus back to Brooklyn, they set up their own local plumbing business to keep busy until they could make their way home. Oh, yes, indeed, feed the needy. Princess Toadstool was a super nice person and friendly ruler of the Mushroom People. One day, way down deep underneath her palace, Mario and Luigi were busy putting plenty of puzzling pipes in their proper places. This sure is hard work, said Luigi, but I'm always happy to do work for Princess Toadstool. It's only hard work for plumbers with hard heads, said Mario. Ha <laughs> ha! My head may be hard, said Luigi, but at least my stomach's normal. I don't eat disgusting stuff like mushroom and jelly sandwiches. Yuck! How oh, no! you? cried Mario, ignoring his brother, as he searched through his lunchbox. I've run out of fresh mushrooms. Well, one, two. That won't do. I knew, said Mario. I bet there's some fresh mushrooms growing further down. And he went looking for mushrooms, which, as we all know, Grow in dark, damp places. Suddenly, he heard a strange sound. Mario was horrified to see evil King Kuba and his Kuba troopers invading the castle. Oh no, Mr. Bill! Uh, 
That's right. I drink fizzy water to the unicorn chalice. You drink water like a bitch. Where were we? Oh yes, yes. King Cooper and his Cooper troopers invading the castle. Great gobs of purple pasta, thought Mario. I didn't make that that's seriously what it says. Great gobs of purple pasta, thought Mario. King Cooper is up to no good. What can I do? All of a sudden, Mario looked down at his feet and saw the answer to his question. Magic red mushrooms. Eating mushrooms is very, very dangerous. Unless you know which ones are safe to eat. I mean, all mushrooms are edible after all, it's just some of them are only edible once. Luckily, Mario knew that these mushrooms were safe. He knew that these mushrooms had the power to make anyone change into a giant. Now I'll scare those Cooper Troopers, he said as he gobbled down the red mushrooms. Out from behind the pipes came a giant Mario yelling, Fee! Fie! Foo! Fat! You'd better run or I'll squash you flat. Be five, very fat, you better run or I'll squash you flat. The frightened Koopa Troopers ran screaming. This scared the bejesus out of me now, didn't it? Why are you even going off? Creepy, wasn't it? Seriously, that creeps the fuck out of me. But evil King Koopa wasn't fooled as easily as his Koopa troopers. This is no giant monster, he snarled as he waved his hands majestically at the pipes. It is one of those stupid Mario brothers who are always getting in the way. My menacing magic can squeeze him down to size, watch and see. Mwahaha! Mwahaha! Unknown to either King Koopa or Mario, Luigi was nearby. After picking flowers for the princess, he went searching for his brother Mario. Oh no, he thought. I knew Mario was taking too long, but I had no idea he was getting into trouble. Wait a minute! Maybe I can help. After all, these aren't ordinary flowers. These are magic fire flowers! Out from behind the pipes, Luigi charged at the Koopa Troopers, furiously firing a fire flower. Flee! Flee! cried the frightened Koopa Let me try that again. Out from behind the pipes, Luigi charged at the Koopa Troopers, furiously firing a fire flower. Flee! Flee! cried the frightened Koopa Troopers. The fire from the fire flower will fry our flesh. See, that's where you're supposed to come in. Fix this shit in post. Flee! Flee! Burn our flesh! Hurry! Hurry! called Mario. The Koopa Troopers won't remain startled for long, and we have to warn the princess. Racing through the passageways beneath the castle, Mario and Luigi tried to escape the Koopa Troopers, but the villains chased them right into a hidden trap door. Yo! That was quite a step, yelled Luigi as he fell. That was no step, you bumbler, said Mario. We've fallen into a trap. How would we warn the princess now? Great googly moogly. 
Well, one squadron of Koopa Troopers captured the Mario Brothers. A second squadron continued up through the castle pipes to Princess Toadstool's throne room. Eek! screamed the princess as the Koopa Troopers grabbed her and the gods. Oh, goodness gracious, cried the princess as the Koopa Troopers carried her off. Deep down in the dark, damp, perilous pit for which this book is named, the helpless Mario brothers have heard the princess's cries. What can we do, where well, Luigi? My fire flower can't burn us out of here. So true, said Mario. And my magic red mushrooms can't help. It's even too deep for a giant to climb out. That's funny, said Luigi. The princess's screams seem to be getting louder, by the way. There's nothing funny about that, said Mario. King Koopa is throwing her down here with us. Oh, goodness gracious, said the princess as she landed on the floor of the pit with a hard bump. King Keeper is closing the door. We're going to run out of air. Oh no, cried Luigi. King Cooper will loot the castle while we're held helpless down here. Even with our magic objects, we can't seem to stop him. But you can, cried Princess Toadstool as she noticed the flower and the mushrooms. All you have to do is dramatic pause. Walk together. Together? That's it, cried Mario. He ate his last magic red mushroom. In an instant, he began to grow. Held high by the giant Mario, Luigi carefully aimed the last fire flower at the wooden trap door. It's working, he cried. I couldn't have reached it without your help. And I... Couldn't have opened it without yours, said Mario graciously. Boom! The fire flower burst open the wooden trap door of the perilous pit for which this book is named. Out, scrambled Luigi. Before King Koopa or any of the other Koopa troopers realized what had happened, Luigi grabbed his wrench and opened the biggest water pipe he could find. Bye-bye, he said, as King Koopa and his Koopa troopers were washed away. That night, a huge victory party was held in the throne room in honor of the heroic Mario Brothers. What's the matter, Mario? asked Prince. Oh, sorry, I didn't do the voice. What's the matter, Mario? asked Princess Toadstool. Why do you look so upset after your great victory? I ate the last mushroom to get us out of that pit. Now I have none for my mushroom and jelly sandwiches. You know what, asked Luigi laughing. I'd face a hundred other dark and perilous pits for which this book is named. But I'd hate to see what's down in the pit of Mario's stomach. Be quiet, said Mario, and get me the pickles for the top of my Italian ice. From context, I can tell that Italian ice is ice cream. <laughs>